Hi everyone, this is Tejaswini. Welcome back to Lipid series. And in last lecture of Lipid series, I have told you about polymorphic mechanism application in food technology. There are two applications I have discussed with you. First is the tempting of fat, and another is the shortening of fat. Then uh, I have told you about how fat imparts tenderness to baked products and uh, three polymorphic forms of fat alpha, beta prime and beta and why beta prime is more useful than beta. Uh, so in this video I will discuss um, about uh, reactions of fat with surrounding components like water, moisture, then uh, heat, light, enzymes, then catalyst, ionizing radiation, then UV light. So first let's start with the reactions of fats. Actually unsaturated fatty acids are more susceptible to reactions as they contain carbon-carbon double bond in their structure. More unsaturated fatty acids. Remember this due to carbon-carbon double bond. Actually, there are two concepts, pro-oxidants, pro-oxidants and antioxidants, antioxidants. In this video, we will discuss just about pro-oxidants. Pro-oxidants are the agents that causes oxidation, agents that causes oxidation. And antioxidants are that agents that which prevent oxidation. Agents that prevent oxidation. Hmm? And these pro-oxidants, which means agents, are heat, light, then ionizing radiations ionizing radiations, enzymes, enzymes, enzymes like lipoxygenase, remember this enzyme which causes hydrolysis of lipid, enzymes, then uh, catalyst, metal catalyst, acids, bases, water and uh, one more example of vegetable oil which contain more unsaturated fatty acid. Actually, as I told you, unsaturated fatty acids are more susceptible to oxidation. But vegetable oil is not as much more susceptible to oxidation, although it has unsaturated fatty acids. Rather than this, animal fats like lards are more susceptible to oxidation. I will tell you why, the reason behind it. This vegetable oil, vegetable oil, which is liquid at room temperature liquid at room temperature and contains more unsaturated fatty acids unsaturated fatty acids while animal fats animal fats like lard hmm, lard which are solid at room temperature solid at room temperature and they are mostly contain they mostly contain saturated fatty acid and some amount of unsaturated fatty acids also like monounsaturated fatty acids are there and these unsaturated fatty acids are here as this vegetable oil contain antioxidant which is vitamin E or also called as tocopherol this vegetable oil contains natural antioxidant which is vitamin E that prevents oxidation. Although it is more unsaturated but it contains natural antioxidant therefore it prevents oxidation. Here animal fats do not contain any natural antioxidant therefore they are more susceptible to oxidation. And tocopherol molecule, tocopherol which is antioxidant acts as antioxidant antioxidant at low level and at high level it acts as prooxidants which causes an oxidation at low level remember this this is very important 
from exam point exam point of view and acts as prooxidant prooxidant at higher level and rancidity is what rancidity is when lipid undergoes undesirable flavor and odor changes undergoes here i will write rancidity rancidity is when lipid undergoes undergoes undesirable flavor undesirable flavor and odor flavor and odor this rancidity is of two types first is a hydrolytic rancidity and another one is a oxidative rancidity in this video we will just discuss about hydrolytic rancidity two types of rancidity first is hydrolytic rancidity and another one is a oxidative rancidity as this name suggest hydrolysis of lipid is known as hydrolytic rancidity and oxidation of lipid oxidation of lipid means oxidative rancidity oxidation of lipid and causative agent is oxygen here causative agents are water acids bases enzymes hmm? so i'll write here hydrolytic rancidity this hydrolytic rancidity actually again there is one important point which is saponification saponification as i told you fat is a triglyceride molecule which is made up of glycerol alcohol and three molecules of fatty acids if i draw here triglyceride molecule as this lipids can react with many oxidative agents sorry hydrolytic agents like first i'll draw here triglyceride molecule and this is methyl end methyl end this end this is these are all backbone these are three esters and these are three fatty acids in previous videos we have discussed how this triglyceride molecule is formed from glycerol and three molecules of fatty acid by condensation reaction here esterification occurs and this triglyceride molecule forms this triglyceride this triglyceride when this triglyceride molecule comes in contact with water molecule or water we will get glycerol catch oh sorry oh h h h and h this is glycerol hmm? this is hydrolysis of this reaction is known as hydrolysis of lipid or fat hmm? and we will get three molecules of three free fatty acids three free fatty acids monocarboxylic fatty acid like cooh and methyl n these three free fatty acids will release in hydrolysis of lipid this reaction is known as hydrolytic Hi, this rancidity is hydrolytic rancidity as causative agent is here water hmm? this causative agent can be water can be acid can be enzyme can be base suppose if this causative agent is base if i write here base 3 naoh then naoh means na plus and oh minus 
and here this ester linkage will break and this carbocation plus plus minus minus and minus this na plus will attract towards o minus and oh minus will go to this carbocation and we will get three actually sodium salts of fatty acids okay, here i write Here we will get COOH glycerol molecule again this is glycerol and these three sodium salts of fatty acids Na plus O minus structure this is methyl N hmm? these are sodium salts of fatty acid sodium salts of fatty acids means soap means soap therefore this reaction is known as saponification therefore this hydrolysis by base is known as hydrolysis by hydrolysis of triglyceride by base is known as saponification saponification And therefore, if hydrolyzing agent, this hydrolyzing agent is base, that reaction is saponification. And if that hydrolyzing agent is other than base, like acid, water, that rancidity or that hydrolysis is known as hydrolytic rancidity or lipolytic rancidity. Rancidity. Hmm? Or lipolytic, lipolytic rancidity hmm? and as we know that milk contains fatty acids sorry fat and then fatty acids are formed when that fat comes in contact with moisture or water as water is present in milk this milk contains fat plus water here in this milk some short chain fatty acids and long chain fatty acids are also released here this even number of remember this even number of free fatty acids are present in milk present in milk and flavor of milk that particular flavor this particular flavor of milk is due to this type of or these free fatty acids remember this that flavor is just not only because of butyric acid there are some free fatty acids present butyric acid this is the main free fatty acid present free fatty acid present but this single free fatty acid is not responsible for specific flavor of milk some even number of free fatty acids are also there which causes or which imparts unique flavor to milk and this lipo hydrolysis this hydrolysis actually reduces hydrolysis or lipolysis lipolysis reduces smoke point smoke point its property of that lipid smoke point means smoke point is temperature at which temperature at which smoke appears appears on the surface of lipid surface of lipid remember this this hydrolysis of lipid and lipolysis reduces this temperature if suppose if you consider cotton seed oil cotton seed oil without without free fatty acid smoke point of this cotton seed oil 
विदाउट फ्री फैटी एसिड इज टू टू हंड्रेड थर्टी टू पॉइंट टू डिग्री सेल्सियस एंड इंक्रीमेंट ऑफ वन परसेंट ऑफ फ्री फैटी एसिड इन दैट ऑयल डिक्रीजेस दिस स्मोक पॉइंट टू वन सिक्सटी डिग्री सेल्सियस देर फोर हियर कॉटन सीड ऑयल कॉटन सीड ऑयल विथ वन परसेंट ऑफ फ्री फैटी एसिड रिड्यूसेस स्मोक पॉइंट टू वन सिक्सटी डिग्री सेल्सियस रिमेम्बर दिस एग्जाम्पल एंड फूड फ्राइड इन सच ऑयल विच हैज लो स्मोक पॉइंट विल एब्सॉर्ब मोर ऑयल एंड विल हैव मोर टेंडेंसी फॉर ब्राउनिंग हेयर आई विल राइट इफ यू फ्राई फूड इन ऑयल विथ लो स्मोक पॉइंट इज फूड फ्राइड इन लो स्मोक पॉइंट ऑयल विथ लो स्मोक पॉइंट दैट फूड विल एब्सॉर्ब मोर ऑयल दैट फूड विल एब्सॉर्ब मोर ऑयल मोर ऑयल एंड विल हैव दैट फूड विल हैव मोर टेंडेंसी मोर टेंडेंसी फॉर ब्राउनिंग फॉर ब्राउनिंग एंड विल एग्जिबिट एग्जिबिट क्रैक सरफेस क्रैक सरफेस ऑन फूड एंड इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग आई हैव फॉर्गॉट टू टेल यू अबाउट ओमेगा थ्री फैटी एसिड इज अवर एफ डी ए दैट इज फूड ड्रग एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन क्लेम्स दैट डोसेज अप टू थ्री थाउजेंड मिलीग्राम पर डे ऑफ ओमेगा थ्री फैटी एसिड विच कंटेन ई पी ए एंड डी एच ए पर डे आर सेफ एंड यूरोपियन फूड सेफ्टी ऑथोरिटी दैट इज ई एफ एस ए हेर आई विल राइट ई एफ एस ए क्लेम्स दैट डोसेज अप टू फाइव थाउजेंड मिलीग्राम पर डे ऑफ ओमेगा थ्री फैटी एसिड विच कंटेन ई पी ए एंड डी एच ए आर सेफ रिमेम्बर दिस फूड एंड ड्रग एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन एंड ई एफ एस ए एफ डी ए क्लेम्स दैट डोसेज ऑफ Omega-3 fatty acid which contain EPA and DHA are safe up to 3000 mg per day and EFSA allows 5000 mg per day of omega-3 fatty acid which contains EPA and DHA so this is all about today's lecture we will meet in next video keep studying thank you